certainly a pleasure for me as the MHA for Terranova uh, to be here today for the official opening of the region's new waste transfer station. Through an investment of $4.2 million, this new facility was brought to fruition. This new facility here in Clarenville allows municipal, commercial, and waste haulers the ability to safely drop off municipal garbage, paper recyclables, and container recyclables. It is also a laydown area for the drop off and temporary storage of bulky items, including metals, wood, tires, recyclable construction and demolition debris. This is a, a, a real red letter day. This is a one-off type of facility. Most of the facilities use a, a grade differential. We opted not to do that. Uh, we went with a, with a auger and a conveyor system. And what that does is uh, takes away the, both the dirty floor concept, but it also allows us to maximize our operations. Uh, the reason we do that is because by using an auger system, we can take all the materials, construction materials, metals, auger them into the big trucks that you've seen outside, and uh, we've reduced the uh, transportation piece, I think, in a factor of four or five. So in other cases where they use a braid separation, they, they dump it in, they have no particular compaction ability. So there's four or five trucks doing what we can do in one. So that reduces the wear and tear on our highways, the, the uh, carbon footprint, and it really is quite innovative. To date, there has been a 63% reduction in a number of disposal sites relative to what was there in 2002. And we are well on our way to achieve our 80% dump closure goal in accordance with the strategy. I salute the government of Newfoundland and Labrador for their leadership and their commitment to this provincial waste management strategy. The closure of so many landfill sites, the commencement of curbside recycling, and the safe disposal of household hazardous waste will have valuable environmental health and economic benefits to our residents now and for future generations.